I gotta say, it's a lot easier to do this uh, recording at 6.30 in the morning than it is at 8.30 in the morning, because uh, I think by 8.30, I'm kind of already on to other stuff. It's also louder outside, but uh, anyway, I was kind of thinking how it's funny that I'm like finally, finally getting around to all the stuff that I was going to do back in like January. And, uh, why (laughs) has it taken me so long? And I think the uh, answer to that is that, well, I mean, I know the answer to that is that frickin' injury, knee injury that I incurred, um, early, uh, I guess it was like mid-January. So what happened was that, uh, well, back in October was when I heard it initially. I was like getting on my bike. I was wearing these hipster jeans, and uh, I trying to saddle get on the thing, and like the the crotch of the jeans is so tight that I can't lift my leg, and so I'm trying to get swing it over the bike seat, and I keep like wrenching it and, and forcing it, and I end up going over the center of gravity on my other knee and like buckle it sideways. So that hurt. Um, but it got better and I didn't think about it anymore. I saw that back in October, but then in January there was a lockdown, COVID lockdown and, um, uh, I couldn't swim cause everything was shut. And so I'm like, well, I, I guess I'm running. Uh, so I buy, and it's, of course this is like January, so it's frigid. So I'm like, buy a bunch of gear, buy a bunch of outfits to run in and like, I hate, I hate I am six foot three, I'm 210 pounds, I hate running, so, um, but I'm doing it anyway, because uh, that's the only way I'm going to get any exercise, and then I do that for like five times, and by the fifth time, and I'm just doing this like little sort of six kilometer circuit that I kind of figured out, and by the fifth time or so, I go out, but halfway out, I feel sort of like an itch in my kneecap and so this is three kilometers out and then I'm coming back at that point and the itch starts to like become like a little bit of a burn and the burn starts to become a little bit of a pain and then like by the time I'm like you know the like not quite even a kilometer back I'm like okay this actually kind of hurts now then by you know that evening it like actually hurts. And I'm like, wow, this enough to like take an Advil kind of thing. And then by the next morning I couldn't walk. And it really took me by surprise, like just how disruptive that was, like just how distracting because I'm like, you know, I sit at a desk, right? Like how could it possibly affect me? And the answer is a lot Um, because I couldn't walk for weeks. And, uh, you know, so like basic stuff like getting groceries and crap was a huge pain in the ass. And and, and, uh, I don't know, it was just like it really just kind of preoccupied everything and I couldn't concentrate on boring ass basic work stuff. So it kind of just sat there for you know, a couple months because like I had the actual injury and then by the time I could organize the uh, medical uh, community to, to do anything about it and then actually do something about it. Yeah, it was like two months out. So, you know, mid-March or whatever was like, you know, by the time it was actually kind of, you know, backish to normal about it. So that sucked. Um, but anyway, I was kind of looking at the, uh, what I've got kind of on the docket, um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's, well, there's these, uh, newsletters. So I'm finally, you know, I, I hate newsletters. I really do. Um, I understand why they're a thing and why they need to exist, but I, 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 I just think they're a step backwards, but, um, but I'm making a paid one. Um, when Christopher Alexander died, I wrote this sort of you know, let's, <laughs> I think Alan Cooper called it elegiac, um, which I think is accurate, but it was sort of a retrospective on his work. And that got like so many, it got so much attention that I'm like, well, 
you know, why don't I make like a 17 part, you know, uh, uh, limited run uh, uh, newsletter that explores the nature of order uh, because it's got 15 properties in it, you know, um, apply those to software is kind of the idea. And uh, then, you know, put some end caps on it, 15 plus two, maybe a little more, maybe a couple more sort of for synthesis. We'll see. But, you know, 17 for sure, you know, 15 plus a start plus an end, end caps. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that. Uh, what else? Um, there was the authentication module. We've talked about that. And now I'm kind of thinking finally moving to finishing, finishing, let's just call it retrofitting the, the Swiss Army knife, the content Swiss Army knife that I made. Now that thing is a, at this point, it's really just a static website generator, um, but its job is to kind of be a breadboard for semantic web tech effectively and, and its application to just websites. And at the moment, it's just a static website generator, but um, what it, it does a bunch of stuff that, you know, one could sort of pull out and turn into a CMS or whatever. But I mean, again, at this point, it's just a breadboard. Um, but, uh, I was thinking of, um, well, I, I need to, because I actually need its output. Um, cause during the project that I did back in the winter, I hacked it a bunch and in the process of hacking it, I made this like one part sort of URL resolution part, it ended up turning like to be really, really slow. And when you're doing like thousands and thousands of links and you're trying to resolve the URLs and stuff and you're trying to generate a bunch of static site, like it is like intolerably slow. So I started to refactor it. Um, and it, you know, the refactor it, is a lot better. The architecture is a whole crap load better. Um, but, um, I don't know. That is kind of like what I think is next on the non, you know, on the, on the, on the spare time, uh, to the extent that there is spare time, uh, program. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to check in, try to keep this up through the end of the week. Didn't have a lot to say this time, but you know, keep the, keep the cadence, keep the pace going. Anywho, going to finish my copy.